So I feel like I see a lot of girls in our industry. And again, like don't want to body shame people or anything like that, but I see people going way over the top. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of body dysmorphia is starting to get wrapped into that where girls think I'm not pretty enough. My lips aren't big enough. My boobs aren't big enough. My butt isn't big enough. And they're Mm -hmm. starting to do these things to themselves that I don't know, just I'm, I'm, To me, they look weird and I feel like to them, they're still not happy with how they look because they continue to do more and more. So how do you feel about that? Like, do you see girls in the industry and you think like, oh my God, like, you know, how, how do you, how is your thought process when you see that? You know, I was, you know, one of those girls up until not too long ago in, in, you know, it's not easy to admit that. However, I feel the industry, I'm not, I don't want to badmouth the industry because the industry doesn't make you feel a certain way. Nobody can make you feel a certain way unless you allow them to do so. Right. However, it can have an impact on what is, um, I guess, what people are desiring or what's selling, what's, what the, what you think um, society thinks an ideal image is because it's in your face, in your face, in your face. So, you know, sometimes it's, it's, I think it's difficult. And, you know, even for me, I thought, man, you know, I'm too thin. Oh, now I'm too, eh. you know, maybe I should, you know, do this or, you know, so it's just like these little things. And it's like, well, when is enough enough? When am I going to be okay with me? You know, I am worthy. I am you know, beautiful, not only here, and I'm not saying that uh, in a, um, a pretentious way or a cocky way. It's just, you know, I feel pretty. I feel good about who I am. And I have more to offer this world than just aesthetics. And, um, you know, but it takes a, a while to get there. I just, um, I don't know. I just, sometimes I, I feel sad for some of the girls. Um, I really do because I think at the end of the day, they don't have an identity uh, outside of the industry and there's more to the industry than just, you know, your alter ego. You know, you have to kind of reflect and be okay with here, you know, and it's not easy, you know, it wasn't easy for me for a long time. So how do you, how do you think that you got to a place where you are happy with who you are inside and who you are on the outside. Do you think it just comes like that sort of thing just comes with getting older and and wisdom or were there specific things that happened in your life? You know, I think it was actually having this time. So this was just recently, you know, and it's not like I would self deprecate, but I just thought, Oh, maybe I should do this. Maybe I should, you know, and I think we're all always maybe questioning, trying to, you know, improve ourselves. But I think, what, what helped me was, you know, I'm not really filming as much anymore. And I put it into perspective. I don't, I don't want to not look like my child, you know, and, and like I try to enhance or like do subtle improvements to uh, be a better version of myself. However, I think it was just reflecting on what's really important for me and where I want to focus my money, my energy and, um, Ultimately, you kind of have to like work on your inside and, and, and internal happiness before any of that. I shouldn't say that, but I feel like if you're not happy here, you're going to constantly be chasing no matter how much you do to yourself because you're always trying to fill a void, you know, because you're mm-hmm. never really okay with you or, you know, yeah. you don't learn to love yourself. Right. So um, it's, it's, it's always a work in progress. I think um, it's just. Part of it, I think, too, is just how we're we're made, our brain chemistry and our personality, you know, those things. But, you know, the industry is not always it, it's positive for me, or at least I felt it was like as far as, you know, exploring my sexuality and putting it out there and um, owning that. But sometimes, you know, it's, it's not always easy to, to be in the spotlight, you know. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.